Hi, I'm Carlos Santiago. I'm a hardware engineer and I'm working on a little project here that's a hybrid uh, amplifier for the iPod. It has a digital controller based on the Arduino and a 5 watt stereo amplifier based on vacuum tubes. So it's a mix of the old and the new. What you're looking at here is the actual iPod controller board. Looking at the board you see it's got a display on the front that can display up to four characters and off to the right what you're seeing there is, is known as a digital encoder it allows you to control different things within the controller by just turning that knob there's also an integrated switch that lets you uh, switch between functions by just pressing the knob so the user interface for the amplifier uh, is, is basically just going to be one knob that allows you to make a selection and then turn the knob to make the adjustment. Now as I told you before, the iPod amplifier consists of an Arduino microcontroller and also another device that's used to control the volume, bass, and treble of the amplifier. In addition to those two uh, devices, there is additional circuitry on the board to generate the power that's necessary uh, to make the board operate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the board and show you the board in operation. As you can see, the board powers up, it shows a logo, and then it displays the current setting as it was the last time the amplifier was used. Right now the volume level is sitting at 25 and if I happen to rotate the digital encoder here you'll see that I can turn the volume up or I can turn the volume down. Now once I've got my volume set where I would like it to be I can just press the encoder button and it'll switch me to the bass setting. Now on bass I can either boost the bass which is going to be a positive number sorry, or I can uh, I can attenuate the bass down to say negative two. If I press the encoder again, I'll go to treble, and again the same applies. I can boost or I can attenuate the treble. Hitting the switch one more time will put me to the mute, and I can turn mute on or off by turning the knob. You'll notice that in this demonstration, once I've set my level, it always reverts back to the volume control. And the reason for that is you don't always want to leave your amplifier sitting at the bass control, for example, because um, you might want to turn the volume up or down. So the most common control is the volume. So there's a little bit of a delay once you make an adjustment before it reverts back to the volume control. So the way this board operates is we feed a signal in from an iPod and then the output of this board will be feeding the 5 watt vacuum tube amplifier which then will produce the sound at up to 5 watts per channel. Thank you.